All right, what's up, everybody? We are on the 14th episode of Demon Slayer. Um, the last episode can actually be summarized pretty easily, I would say. Of course, Tanjiro actually defeated the demon that we had kind of, you know, had kind of been dealing with. I think it was called Kyogai. Took a blood sample of him as well after the fact, and you know, we got that cool little again. Like I, I. I I really like how they keep doing the backstory for all these demons and stuff. And with him, that was once again this tragic backstory of how he used to love writing and stuff. But he was really sort of like criticized a lot by... Um, yeah, I don't know if that was like a father figure for his or like a teacher or something like that. I think it might have been, but... Um, that was really cool. Of course, you know, there's there's been a lot of um, new characters on our side so to say who uh, who we've been dealing with and first of all there's that boar guy who i still don't know what the hell was up with him uh, <laughs> he sort of seems to really go his own um his own direction if that makes sense i mean he's not really too caring about the people around him uh it's interesting because you know i think there was that ceremony way back in the fourth or fifth episode or something after they had passed the demon slayer trials right and they had mentioned how five people had made it through however at that ceremony, we only saw four of them, and the fifth one apparently wasn't there. And it turns out that's actually the boar guy that we're dealing with right now, uh, right? So, yeah, what that's about, I have no idea. That's the thing, it's very sort of hard to tell what direction they're going to go in with all of these uh, particular things that they then keep teasing. The other character, of course, who we've been dealing with is uh, <laughs> Zenitsu. And it's funny, though, because I I'm kind of, you know, starting to sort of make a 180 here or something, where in the beginning, I kind of couldn't stand him. I'm just going to be completely honest, right? But it was just because he was so emotionally dependent, uh, overwhelmed by every single thing thing coming across his path. Uh, <laughs> it's like, yeah, I, I kept asking that question, right? Like, how can he possibly serve any purpose, any role for Tanjiro? Like, he can't help him out in any way, right? But then it is really the last one or two episodes that we've sort of seen his strengths start to come out more. So first he had that really weird secret power where he actually, uh, <laughs> you know, like was literally put to sleep or something. I don't know if he really sort of like fainted in that moment or what happened, but he fell asleep and suddenly awakened with this crazy power where he was able to actually just like defeat a bunch of demons without seemingly even being very much aware of it, right? And then in the, in the, in the last episode, he was actually defending... Um, Nezuko, who was in that box, right, while the boar guy was trying to attack it because he figured, like, oh, there's a demon inside of there and I need to get rid of it. Um, so Nezuko, oh, sorry, Zenitsu literally allowed himself to be beaten up in that moment by the guy. He was about to, like, strike his final blow or whatever, and that, that's why Tanjiro said, knock it off, and he's about to, like, fight him now, it seems. Um, again, I have no idea where they're going to go with it. I just really like the fact that they can throw me off in certain ways where I feel like, okay, I... I won't like this character like that's the thing with as an Zenitsu, i was like i won't like this character whatsoever and now i'm sort of turning around with the boar guy initially i was like oh i like this guy now i don't like him whatsoever <laughs> so uh yeah really curious to see what direction they're gonna go into the 14th episode is actually called the house with the wisteria family crest uh no idea what that's about i just remember that wisteria was this like flower type or whatever right that we encountered very early on in the show i think around the same episodes that i was talking about and it's it's the you know it actually like scares off the demons or something right like they don't come near it basically so um looking forward to it of course the next eight episodes will already be up over on my patreon so we're going to be over on episode 22 there right now go check that out it's linked on top of the description of course really appreciate your support um over there you can also get full-length reactions if you want to watch the entire episodes along with me but then with that being said let's dive into episode 14 of demon slayer oh shit strike him right in the gut Oh, broke his ribs too, somewhat. Yeah, he doesn't seem to care too much about the rules. That's what I definitely noticed. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> This guy is a fool. Oh my god, he's starting already. What is wrong with this guy? He just can't hold himself. Oh, 
Yeah, he's definitely got some moves, though. Man, he's like... Spinning around. Coming at him like a rocket launcher or something. Yeah, yeah, low attacks with his uh, legs as well. Oh, like an actual boar. Superhuman. And he's sure thinks of himself that he's amazing. Singing his own praises. Oh man. You're such a badass dude. Let me give you a round of applause. It really seems like everything he's doing is just doing it for his own entertainment or something. I need to figure out this guy's purpose in life. Uh, maybe his skull is. Oh shit, the mask fell off. Really? Wait, why did he say... Why did he say a girl? I was gonna say. Because he saw the long hair? Oh. He thinks he's got a girl-like face, okay. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> yeah, true, does kind of have a feminine face. Inusuke. I, I am not surprised by that. <laughs> what the hell? He just fainted? Or what, what, what the fuck just happened? Oh, he's like foaming. Concussion. Wow, took a little bit to set in, I guess. Huh. He put his... Oh, wait, that's Zenitsu's uh, coat, right? Yeah. Oh, and, it, and he's using Tanjiro's one as a pillow. <laughs> oh my god, just ride back to it. This guy cannot take a break. I was gonna say. What, for the demon or what? Oh. This is literally all that he can think about. Yeah, he really is a loon, indeed. そうか。傷が痛むからできないんだな。は。痛みを我慢できる度合いは人それぞれだ。亡くなってる人を屋敷の外まで運んで、血を掘って埋葬するのは本当に大変だし、ずれてる。<laughs> what the hell? What was that even supposed to be about? Oh my god. Is he just like expending energy or... Oh, I thought... <laughs> I almost thought he was making the noise. <laughs> Descent the mountain. Yours truly. I'm having such a hard time figuring out what to make of this. <laughs> like, what the hell is even happening, dude? <laughs> 
this guy. Okay, well, Zenitsu is going back to his good old self. Man, Tanjiro, just, just go on your own, dude. Leave everything behind. He is way better off by himself. He just puked that out. Oh, right, he had the Marechi blood. Hmm. Okay, saying goodbye to the kids. <laughs> is that supposed to represent, like, the three of them? Moving? My name is not Loser. What the f- <laughs> This guy is a fucking lunatic. <laughs> what an episode, man. I'm so lost. Oh my god, this is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Such courtesy. Respect your elders, Mr. Boar guy. <laughs> this is the most chaotic episode yet, but I fucking love it. Nah, this this guy ain't using chopsticks. He really does have like huge feminine eyes. It's weird, we keep seeing those three faces, but it's not the three of them, it's just like... It's one of them times three all the time. I don't get it. <laughs> oh, wow, she's bringing a doctor over? He, he can fix the broken bones or something, or what? <laughs> oh my god, the display. The way they're communicating information in this episode is fucking fantastic. Meals taste better when you eat together? <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> this episode. I have not seen anything like this yet in the show. だから、鬼狩りであれば武将で尽くしてくれる。必殺隊が Showing how much of a badass he is. Tanjiro, Daremo Kikanai Kara Orega Kikukedosa. Onio Tsurete Irunoa, do you Kotonanda? Okay. Say it's Wakate, Kabate Gretandana. Say it's a Huntoni Yatana. Don't know what I did, Orewa Hanaga Kikunda. Oh, 
Well, you just don't really realize it. <laughs> I don't know how the boar guy is gonna react though when he sees what's coming out of this thing. So Nitsu being scared is nothing new. Oh, uh, don't don't tell me he's gonna like fall in love with her or something. <laughs> I can see it coming already. What is this? Wait, is this other side coming out? Oh, uh, is this how Tanjiro is gonna notice now that he has these abilities? Oh no. <laughs> this is... This is one episode, man. Guys like you gotta be perched. Oh right, because we literally encountered him begging that other girl to marry him or something, right? Yeah, boy guy. <laughs> boy guy is fast asleep. Oh my god, man. I'm I'm still I'm gonna have to recover from this episode. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite the watch. Man, I totally hadn't seen it coming, but these two characters accompanying Tanjiro might be like the best thing that has happened to the show so far. I, <laughs> I'm, st I'm still a little bit shocked and unsure what the hell I just witnessed. Uh, <laughs> the, the comedy in the show got like upped. Like, I don't know. I mean, so, so far that hadn't... There have been like funny moments in the show for sure, right? But like, yeah, some really sort of like... Um, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it, but just silly moments, I guess, or something, right? And this this episode was full of that, but uh, I had not imagined sort of like, yeah, just the chaotic outcome that this would uh, and this would result in being accompanied by these two. I, I actually wonder if they're going to be like literally joining Tanjiro now on his journey for the, well, at least for a, for a good time to come or something like that. It seems so because they're, you know, kind of traveling together uh, for now at least, but holy shit man i mean it started off of course with that fight with the with the boar guy and learning a bit about him and still i mean yeah it's really hard to tell like well from from what i gather really it's just like a simple matter of okay he likes himself a little bit too much he's very egotistical and just uh you know thinks he's like the best and the strongest and all that stuff and uh <laughs> it's like he's constantly trying to prove himself is basically what it comes down to right and so uh, even joining the Demon Slayer Corps. That's another thing. I keep calling it, in the past at least, I, I called it the Demon Slayer Corps. And people remind, uh, actually told me that like, it's not supposed to be pronounced Corps. It's supposed supposed to be pronounced Core. And <laughs> I didn't even realize that when literally I've been watching Attack on Titan for like four seasons long. And nobody ever there told me that it was not the Survey Corps, but the Survey Corps. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that, that was, yeah, that was quite shocking finding out about that recently. But thank you all for cluing me in about it because I'm not going to make that mistake again. But um, this guy literally just joined the Demon Slayer Corps because he's just like, oh yeah, he enjoys the prospect of getting to, I guess, take down a bunch of demons, right? So that's literally all there is to it. And then uh, Zenitsu, I mean, he's still his old chaotic self, but uh, yeah, again, I mean, he has a he has a, an interesting side to him, like a loyal side and a, and, a, and, a, and a, you know, like a, yeah, I mean, that that's basically what it comes down to. But then at the same time, of course, he is still very dependent and emotional and <laughs> it's like... <laughs> <laughs> when they're just coming across this really nice old lady i don't know what the deal with her is or if there's going to be more more to her or something but like she's offering them food and she's like just walking to a house and she's like and he's like why is she walking so fast she's a monster and i'm like what the fuck what is that even about you know what i mean some of the stuff i really can't place it i guess i'm supposed to just take it very surface level and just go along with it and laugh about it so that's what i'm doing but uh 
yeah at the same time my mind constantly keeps sort of like twisting around it where i'm like am i really interpreting this the right way <laughs> I just don't know what to make of it sometimes, you know, it's so illogical to my logical mind, you know, so uh, <laughs> Yeah, nonetheless, really all that I can say about this episode, it, it was fucking hilarious. I laughed my ass off I wonder if this, you know, like if this is something I can expect from the series moving forward Or if this kind of was more of like a one-off type of thing and we're not gonna see this too much more often but that being said, I'm uh, looking forward to finding out, right? Uh, I hope you all enjoyed my reaction. Of course, the next eight episodes will already be up over on Patreon. That's linked on top of the description over there. You can also check the full-length reactions if you want to watch the entire episodes along with me. But yeah, your support is, of course, very much appreciated. Episode 22 were over there. Um, so, you know, go check it out. For now, I want to thank you all for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I look forward to seeing you back in the next episode.